DJ and Parker tiptoed down the hall. Are you sure Juliet won't notice her clown is missing? Parker whispered. DJ shook his head. My sister won't even know it's gone. Trust me. Once inside DJ's room, Parker promptly shut the door. The boys picked up the notebook with their newest spooky story. They titled it, The Clown Curse by DJ and Parker. Let's read the story again, DJ declared, this time with props. It all started one stormy Saturday night. Sam and Stewie crunched on buttery popcorn while waiting to see the circus's star clown, Tiny the Terrible. Their eyes were as wide as moons. The boys gleefully chomped on popcorn. For a moment, they felt as if they were Sam and Stewie. Suddenly, the door swung open. Have either of you seen my clown? Juliet stood in the doorway. It was a gift from Art. He's coming over tonight. I'll feel awful if it's missing. The boys shook their heads, relieved the clown was covered by a pillow that had fallen. After Juliet left, the two continued reading. Tiny the Terrible strolled across the stage. Sam and Stewie trembled. Tiny had hypnotic eyes, a sinister smile, and crooked teeth. Even worse, he must have been eight feet tall. Don't you remember me, Stewie? You laughed when I dropped my juggling pins at your 10th birthday. Now it's time to pay with the clown curse. Tonight, you'll walk across my tightrope without a net. Suddenly, Juliet and Art stood in the doorway. Parker clasped the clown behind his back. Are you sure you haven't seen my clown? Juliet asked. Parker squeezed the clown tighter. He noticed his hands felt cold and clammy. Why was his heart beating in his ears? The clown shook, no matter how tightly he held it. His thoughts raced. Juliet must know. The clown curse is real. It's turning into Tiny the Terrible. Swiftly, Parker tossed the clown across the room. It was us. We took it. The clown was shaking in my hands. Please don't let Tiny the Terrible get us. Juliet and Art burst out laughing. Listen up, confused dudes. The clown wasn't shaking. Parker's hands were. He was clearly guilty about lying. I had no idea you had the clown. And that, spooky dudes, is irony, Juliet declared. Irony is an outcome that is opposite of what you expect. Parker was so worried that I knew his secret, he gave it away himself. Here's an example, Art said. My name might be Art, but I don't like to paint or draw. I get it, just like a pilot who is scared of heights, Parker added. Or a fire hydrant that goes on fire, DJ yelled. Nailed it, spooky dudes, so there is no clown curse. Got it? Got it, they repeated. Suddenly, DJ's dad burst into the room. Hey, gents and germs, who is in the mood for a movie? I've been looking forward to this release all week. It's called Attack of the Space Clowns. Juliet and Art could only chuckle as Parker groaned. Clowns? You've got to be kidding me. 